These are, these are not uh, participants in my studies. These are my, uh, some of my uh, wonderful research assistants in my lab. Uh, part of our assessment uh, procedure in, in our lab is we use EEG, electroencephalogram. And so uh, Lindsay and Jackie have put the EEG onto Arjun's head and it has these little electrodes. They don't hurt. They are reading his brain waves in sort of the same way, or they will be, uh, through an amplifier. He's getting and a head massage. So he's getting a head massage. Around. So that's what they're doing is they're putting in special gel that helps to make sure that we can that we get good signal at each of those electrodes. So I'm watching that happen. The electrodes turn green on the cap. They then turn green on my display, and that says, "All right, we're good to go." Then we start the cap. Scared. So here we're showing Arjun uh, faces, and he has to rate the emotion. Happy. So it's saying out loud the emotion. Angry. And now I'm reading this ribbon of brain activity that's coming off of his head while, he ex while he's doing this task. Scared. And what we've done is we've taken that whole long ribbon of, of uh, electrical signal, chopped it up into these little segments that are begin about 200 milliseconds before the face and up to a second afterwards, uh, strung them together and then collapsed them and averaged them into this little wave. And essentially this little bump is saying, hey, I see something. And so right, it takes place right uh, over the very back of the head. And that's the part that processes visual information. Then it kind of travels right around here to what we call the fusiform gyrus, which is a uh, part of your brain that's designed, it seems like, to process complex visual information about which we are experts. And one thing that we are typically experts at, at is processing faces. From that area, we believe, um, there's this little bump that we see, uh, which we call the N170. And people differ in terms of this. So some people are faster, so their you know, bump might be up here, and some are slower, so their bump might be way down here. What we see uh, is that in people uh, with autism, uh, this, this little bump, this N170, is slower. So it takes place somewhere out here rather than somewhere you know, to the left. And what we found in, in our lab is that uh, that matters that in fact how quickly they're doing that relates to how good they are at for instance detecting emotions in uh, faces. Um, there's a similar component we see in relation to voices and we can even use that uh, it appears to predict who's going to respond to what kinds of intervention.